hello and welcome to another video uh today we'll be looking at a strategy you can use to trade uh volatility 75 index on the screen i have v75 five minutes time frame and uh i have uh five windows i have the main window uh, this is my main window I have indicator window one. I have indicator window two. I have indicator window three. I have indicator window four. All right. So for the main window, uh, the way the, the strategy works is when uh, the black line okay cross down the purple line when the black uh blue okay black blue and orange lines when they all cross down on the purple line that's the cell signal okay now when they all cross down on this particular brown line as a bearish trend when all the lines cross down the brown line like we have around there that's your bearish trend okay so something like this is bully, bu, bu, uh, this buy signal okay so uh, if we now have a strict scenario where they all cross up then we have a bullish trend let's go back okay this is a bullish tr trend okay the purple the black the uh, blue lines they all cross up this is your bullish trend so as long as price stays above these lines here you buy okay but when they all cross down it's your bearish trend where you only look for sell opportunities okay so that's that for indicator window one when the orange and red line cross below the envelope like you have around here that's support so by the time it starts cross back into the envelope and above the uh, blue line then you have your buy signal if you look at what happened on the main chart somewhere around here price found support and started to buy around here so same thing goes for sell signal okay let's look for where we have sell signal okay uh okay let's look for a proper okay like we have a sell signal here where the orange and red line goes above the envelope and then cross down okay a sell signal is another sell signal okay where the orange line crosses above the envelope upper envelope band then by the time it drops back and cross below the blue mid line and you have your sell signal okay that's that for indicator window one for indicator window two we have your atr basically atr is for measuring stop loss take profit and it depends on the risk risk to reward ratio you are using okay atr also assists in determining uh how to buy if if for instance your uh the indicators on the main window is going up like the red the black uh the red and the uh, orange lines if they are all going up like this and on indicator window one your orange and red line are also going up then look at what's happening on indicator window two if the atr line is going up then you can buy okay same thing for when they are all coming downwards if this coming downwards 
and uh, the orange and red line is also dropping from the resistance and your ETI is also dropping from the top then you can sell so that's that for indicator window two for indicator window three when the blue line cross when the blue line goes up from the support level this is support level when it goes up and crosses the mid level which is the 50 level you have your buy signal okay when it gets to the resistance level is that this is the resistance level and it drops to cross down on the 50 level then that's your sell signal like what you have around here from the resistance level it drops and crosses uh the 50 level somewhere around here you can see what's happening on the main chart you have a sell on the main chart so that's that for indicator window three now for indicator window four we have the adx when the adx line which is the red line crosses above the 25 26 level then you can look for either buy or sell but if it drops below the 25 26 level like you have around here you stay action it goes above like you have around here you can look for buy or sell okay like you have around here as it goes above around here you can look for buy or sell and if you look at what's happening up uh, at the main on the main chart you can see price is descending so as this stays above the 25 26 level you look for sell since price is descending and if you look at what eventually happened price sold up to this point so that's that let's look at the parameters for the settings on the main chart we have fractals and we have uh, moving average testing period linear weight applied to close color is purple we also have uh, orange or is it brown 14 period linear weight applied to close and we have 12 period linear weight applied to close color is black and we have 50 period simple apply to close color is purple and we have 200 period simple apply to close color is brown and on indicator window one we have relative strength index period is six apply to close color matches the background color of the chart and we have moving average period is 30 method is simple apply to previous indicators data color is blue and we have envelopes period is 50 shift is zero division is 40.100 method is simple simple uh, apply to first indicators data color for the upper and lower band is green then we have moving average period is one shift is minus three method is linear weight applied to previous indicators data color is red and we also have another moving average period is three shift is zero method is linear weight applied to first indicators data color is red then we have envelopes period is 350 shift is zero division is 90.10 method is simple Apply to first indicators data color is border of the upper and lower band is black uh, then we have uh, another moving average period is two shift is zero method is linear weight apply to first indicators data color is brown then we have uh, indicator window two we have average true range parameters period is 14 color is blue the indicator with the three we have a uh, relative strength index period is 10 apply to close color is blue let's look at the levels we have 80 for strong cell 75 for cell 70 for weak cell 30 for weak buy 25 for buy 20 for strong buy 50 for weight or crossover
Then indicator with the four, we have average directional index, directional movement index, period is 14, style color is red. Now the levels we have 26 and 25. The color is black. So that's that for uh, the settings of the indicator on the of the indicators. Okay. So in as much as you can combine the settings of two or three or four or all the windows together, then you can easily generate signals and then scalp. Uh, some profits while trading volatility uh, 75 index all right so we look at what's happening right now uh, it's more like a uh, it's more like a flat or like a range but ranging downwards and if you look at the yellow and red Okay, lines dropping from the upper band. You also look at the A the ATR, it's also dropping. And if you look at your RSI is below 50, which is for sale. But the issue you will have is this is still below 25, 26 level, which is for you to stay action. Uh, as soon as this pops up, just look at what's happening. Is it selling? Is this pointing downwards? Is it pointing downwards? Is this pointing downwards? Then you sell. So that's just the way the strategy works. It's a very good strategy. You like it. Make sure you back test. Okay, check it. Check it with what has happened in in the past. All right, try it out on demo account so that you can understand how to use the strategy. Uh, make sure you try it very well on the de demo account. And then you are sure you can make successful trades with this strategy before you go live with your real money. This is important so that you don't lose your money. Okay. Now you can so click uh, the subscribe button for this video. Click the subscribe button. Click the like button for this vid vid video like our videos also click the bell button below the video for notification you can drop your comments you can ask questions below the video and uh, we have websites where you can learn more on how to trade forex and volatility uh, index uh, websites are first one is www.benefxtrader.com and the second one is fxfables.com you can visit this website to learn more on how to trade forex and volatility 75 index till i come your way next time it's bye for now